The Tet Offensive, 1968, The Vietnam War. As celebration of the Lunar New Year, the Tet is an important holiday to Vietnamese people. It had been established that the Tet holiday would be used as a truce between the communist forces and the South Vietnamese. For the Saigon government, there was no reason to believe otherwise as they announced a ceasefire with the National Liberation Front. In January 1968, the North Vietnamese and the communist Viet Cong forces would use the event to their advantage to strategically launch an offensive when the enemy's guard was down. Most Vietnamese would spend the holiday with their families, including the ARVN soldiers who were on leave. This made the cities in the South less defended. By attacking major cities in the South, such as Hue and Saigon, it was believed that the morale of the Saigon government, its citizens, and the ARVN would collapse and then cause the United States to withdraw their defense of South Vietnam. The Viet Cong secretly moved into the cities in preparation, checking into local hotels and blending in by disguising themselves as civilians on holiday. They also smuggled their weapons into the cities by hiding them in delivery trucks, holding rice and flowers. On January 21, 1968, in preparation for the main offensive, the North Vietnamese Army attacked the U.S. combat base of Khe San. U.S. troops, mainly consisting of Marines, defended the base against two to three NVA divisions and artillery bombardments. The attack would be intended as a diversion by General Ziap while the Communist forces prepared for their true objective of the Tet Offensive. Attacking on the morning of January 30, 1968, a day earlier than scheduled, Tens of thousands of Viet Cong struck the U.S. and ARVN bases and several cities, including the major cities of Hue and Saigon, where fighting was particularly fierce. The defenders within Saigon were ARVN troops, many who were still returning to the city, and handfuls of U.S. troops consisting of U.S. Marines or administrative staff unprepared for combat. The Viet Cong managed to hit many key targets. One particular target was the U.S. Embassy in Saigon, where Viet Cong sappers breached through its fortified walls with explosives. Diplomats sought shelter inside, while a handful of U.S. Marines and military police exchanged shots with them. Eventually, the defenders of the embassy were reinforced by U.S. troops by helicopter, and soon the Viet Cong sappers were dead. This particular attack was captured by cameras and caused a media firestorm back in America. Hue City saw intense close quarters fighting around the citadel. During the Battle of Hue, 5,000 North Vietnamese troops, 150 U.S. Marines, and 421 ARVN troops were killed. After the battle had cleared, it was discovered that the Viet Cong had arrested those associated with the South Vietnamese regime, executed them, and buried them in mass graves. The first phase of the Tet Offensive was followed by a second phase on smaller cities on May 4th and then followed by a third phase in August to September. Eventually, U.S. and South Vietnamese forces recaptured and secured the cities from the enemy forces at the expense of heavy civilian casualties, but this did not cause any rebellion against the Saigon government. The Tet Offensive stunned America and President Lyndon B. Johnson, who had claimed the Viet Cong forces were a weak amateur force. Although the United States could claim victory because the Tet Offensive caused incredibly high casualties for the NVA and the Viet Cong, it was also seen as a strategic victory for the Communist forces. Televised footage of the Tet Offensive, uncensored and tuned into by millions of Americans back home, shocked the American public opinion and strengthened the anti-war movement. While support for President Johnson's administration would fall to an all-time low and he would give way to the next U.S. President, Richard Nixon. Subscribe for more Vietnam War history videos. Get Simple History, the Vietnam War, and Simple History, the Cold War today. Thank you guys for all your support on the Simple History YouTube channel. If you enjoy it, please consider visiting our Patreon page. There, you can show us your support for the channel by donating and make a huge difference in what we're able to create for you. Plus, you can get early access on upcoming videos. So let's keep it growing, and thank you for being part of this amazing community.